Welcome to the installation instruction video for the OM617 fuel filter adapter. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of installing your fuel filter adapter so you can bolt on your Donaldson or your CAT fuel filter. I'm also going to show you how to install the bracket on the engine itself. So let's dive right into it. So here we've got our Donaldson P55-3203 filter. This has the water separator built into the bottom. You can get a sight glass provision that threads on in between the cap and the filter body. All that is for is so that you can actually see the water in the sight glass so you know that you're supposed to go open this up and drain it. It doesn't actually do any more filtering. So this is the filter. Here is our threaded adapter. This is what makes the fuel filter work. So first things first, you're going to take your fuel filter head and you're going to remove the bolt that the fuel filter actually threads onto. We'll set this aside for now. Now you'll notice on this bolt that there's no ring at the top, there's no ring in the middle. This is the two o-ring version. I'll put the o-ring part numbers down below in the description so you can order new ones I like to use Pelican parts, they usually have them in stock. Now, if your bolt has one O-ring, that means it's supposed to have a crush washer underneath the head. But if there's two O-rings, you don't use a crush washer. So make sure you keep that straight. And only the earlier years used the one O-ring and the crush washer, and then this superseded that uh, design. So you get your uh, O-rings put on there. Now we're going to install this back into our filter head. So you have your filter head. Bolt goes in. When you have new O-rings, it'll actually snap uh, when it seats into that groove. And then on the bottom side here, we're going to put some Loctite on our threads there. Just to, make, just to keep things held in place when you're installing and uninstalling your filter and then uh, thread this on by hand. You don't have to go crazy because that Loctite's gonna dry and keep that in place. You can take a paper towel so you don't cut your finger on the threads. And you can snug that down a little bit better. And now that's installed. So you wanna give that some dry time. Now you're gonna go ahead and thread on your fuel filter. And you'll notice with this Donaldson, it's a little bigger outside diameter than the cat. And you'll notice this paint scraped off here. So what you want to do is when you're threading it on, take note of where it ceases to turn easily. We'll put a little marker mark right there. Okay, so it spins right to about there, and then it stops. We're going to put a mark there. And then this has to spin, you know, obviously all the way till it seats. So it's got to go all the way up to here. So we're going to go take an angle grinder and clean this up. So if you look at this filter head, you see these ribs. This side's high and this side's high. And those protrude out and hit that filter. So we're basically just going to flatten this off. If you look at it, it actually angles up and it comes back straight. So we're just going to make this angle a bit further back, kind of like this. All right, so we went ahead and cleaned that lip up on both sides. So now we'll go ahead and we'll thread this on. And there we got a nice tight fit. It goes on real easy. So now we'll bolt this on to the engine. So when you get your kit, if you select the 300 spacer option, you're going to get this big spacer, these two zinc coated spacers, four bolts and four lock washers. Now, this obviously isn't in the car, so I can't show you the AC compressor line that would normally run over here but you'll notice you have this vacuum line. 
normally you'd have the same thing with a little brace coming off the AC compressor line. So this filter is going to mount at the bottom, then these zinc coated spacers sit on top, it's like this. You see that? They just sit right on top of here. And that keeps that factory spacing in check for your vacuum line and your AC compressor line. So your shorter bolts go through here and they thread into the actual factory aluminum power steering bracket. So you get those in there, get those started here. So obviously you can see here our vacuum line is tight right up against the spacer bracket. So what you'll want to do is you'll actually just take the zinc spacer, put your bolt through the vacuum mount, through the zinc spacer, into your power steering bracket, and then bend that vacuum line out so it clears this spacer. Now, your other options, one is a flat spacer, and then of course there's the no spacer option. You're just going with the threaded adapter. The other two options work for my doomsday diesel power steering brackets that I sell for these engines going into other vehicles. And then lastly, our filter head sits on top right here, and these longer bolts thread into our spacer bracket. So there you have the what the final product will look like when it's all installed. So thanks for tuning in and checking out this installation video. I'll provide the links in the description for the fuel filter adapter and I'll throw some links in for the best places I've found to buy the fuel filters themselves. You can usually pick these up for under 18 bucks if you find a good deal on them.